We're shooting. Okay, go ahead, Josh. Okay. A song that I wish I'd written. Uh, I just recently found this album from 1968 by Stevie Wonder called For Once in My Life. And on it is um, a song called I Don't Know. Uh, and usually I hate when writers talk about I don't know why. But, but you don't know why. Mm -hmm. but, but it's it's a song about why he doesn't know why he loves this woman. But it's a it's a, a chord arrangement that continues and there's no there's no like uh, traditional bridge or chorus. But it's the most amazing vocal lines I've ever heard in my entire life. And that kid at 18 year old <laughs> can sing better than anybody I've heard in my entire life. And it's uh, called I Don't Know Why. And it's a beautiful, beautiful album. Awesome, Emily. <laughs> Okay, a song that I wish I had written that I didn't write. <laughs> Maybe um, I always come back to, to this songwriter because he just is so original and, and uh, continues to inspire me. Um, throughout his life, he's made so many great records. He used to be in Soft Machine, and now he writes, um, makes great records on his own with his wife, Alfie, and his name is Robert Wyatt. And... Uh, the only difficulty is trying to decide which one, uh, I would say, but there's one song called uh, The Age of Self, which we've actually talked about trying to cover, and it's it captures, um, you know, it's like, uh, we say the working class is dead, we're all just people now, we say that we must move ahead, we're all consumers now, if we forget our roots and where we stand, the movement will disintegrate like castles made of sand. Just really, somehow he speaks to like larger things that are happening in society, with and it just kind of flows along like that, and uh, it's a really, really good song. I think we should cover it. Cool. Jimmy? I think I would have to say, um, lately I've just been listening to Exile on Main Street a lot, and there's a song called Sweet Virginia, and it's just in that song, it's like, it's not even... I mean, it's, it's a song, it's a great song, it's, uh, it's a great piece of music, but it's not even really music, it's just a feeling, it's like, it's like a party, it's like a thing that you wish I could have witnessed in my life, like I don't think parties like that happen anymore, I don't think music like that happens anymore, I don't think that kind of freedom happens anymore, it's almost like that feeling could only come from the elation of having pioneered social freedom, in a sense, and the relaxedness of what's happening in that recording is just like, it's enviable. Awesome. You know, as we forge into music in the <laughs> 21st century. <laughs> and all the memories up. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's crazy. Out of all the songs ever written, um, if I wanted to take credit for one, <laughs> um, I would have to say, uh, Say Stravinsky's The Rite of Spring. It is. Ooh, because high minded. It's the first rock and roll tune it ever is. written. That's it's awesome. the origin of punk. I kind of want to take credit for that. <laughs> <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs>